bright outside. I need to fix this again. In the outdoors. It's summer now. Mm. Look, we're not wearing jackets. Actually, it's been raining for the past week, I think. And this is the first time we've been outside in a few days because, you know, that's life these days. We're still working from home. We did get our first vaccine though, so that happened. Yeah. Um, someone's eating behind this. <laughs> we're off to go pick up some art supplies. I know in the last vlog I said I wasn't gonna buy more art supplies. And I did it. There was a really, really big sale at our main art supply shop. I bought a lot of stuff for 50% off. And do I have regrets? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I'm really excited. I didn't actually buy as much stuff as I thought I was going to because like over the years, I've been collecting more and more art supplies, right? If this had happened like several years ago, that would have been cool. But for the most part, I do have most supplies I need and still working through those. So I tried to contain myself. A little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this camera down now because my arm is getting really tired. <laughs> this is the sh this is the arm that like, got the shot, you know. And I'm also super weak these days. You can't smell these, but they smell super good. It smells like my soap it's from the Bodhi shop. I think it's moringa. Is that moringa? I, I don't know. I think you could eat moringa, but I don't know if you can eat that. I don't know plants. That's not my forte. I know birds. <laughs> and baguettes? Yeah, go. Yeah. Fine, red, right, dinner. I know we're home. Did you miss us? No. Not even a little bit? Okay. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> What's in the box, shrimp? What's in the box? Shrimp? You're not gonna move? Okay. <laughs> so I got this, which is um, pastel crayons. Then from Golden Acrylic, some green gold. I was kind of tired of pink, like having to mix a, a light leafy green color. And then also got sap green, um, which is also another acrylic paint. And got another sap green, but this one's watercolor. Then Copic refilling ink. So if you didn't know if you have Copic markers, you can buy these refills. Um, and it's way, way cheaper than buying a totally new marker. Some pencils, so I really like sketching with like actual colors, so I'm gonna start doing that more often. Then some brown refills for my favorite erasable, um, what are they called? Some brown refills for my favorite erasable inks. And then some paper, yay, a pastel pad. So I actually did buy other stuff from the art store. Like I ordered these ones online, but I actually did physically go to the store to buy some stuff. And I didn't show you guys those yet because yeah, I bought a lot of stuff from that. The cool thing is I did buy an easel. So that's really exciting. Gonna try to paint some big stuff this summer, but I'm gonna wait until we move into our new apartment, which I don't know if I've said on this channel, but yeah, we're moving. Uh, okay, I need to stop procrastinating and actually prepare for the shop update. I'm getting sweaty, it's so hot actually. Uh, I always say this, but every time it like gets really hot and humid, it always reminds me of being in Hong Kong. Okay, back to work. I didn't even manage to vlog earlier because I was make <sighs> I was making all of my marketing emails and Instagram posts and all those things right up until the shop update. I don't think I have ever been so unprepared before for a shop update. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself, but yeah. Oops. <laughs> um, I think everything went okay though. Now the shop update is out. Now I can relax a little bit. Maybe I can play with my new art supplies. I kinda just wanna take a nap to be honest, I'm really tired. I won't be packing any orders today. Usually I like to just wait until the next day just in case people like need to make changes to their orders, something like that. So the rest of the evening is now mine to hang out, draw a little bit, hang out with the shrimp. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was a stressful day. It was like a stressful like 30 minutes when I realized that the shop update was in 30 minutes, but now it's all done. 
and we're good. Yay! Hello, it's Sunday. I love announcing what day of the week it is. Today is the day after the shop update. I just want to say thank you so much for buying things from the shop update. I wasn't really sure how the Australian birds were going to be launched, especially because my marketing wasn't really that good this time, but I think things went uh, pretty well. So today we're going to go out for brunch and then run some errands in the city. We need to go do some stuff with our bikes because like basically the seat of my bike is kind of messed up and I would also like to buy like new handlebars for it because it's a bit too low. And then my partner has a flat tire, so we're going to get all that stuff fixed. Yeah, I think that's kind of the plan today. Also, yes, I am wearing the same outfit as yesterday because because I can and most people won't really know. I was gonna say no one's gonna know but I just told you but yeah. Anyway. It's not bad once you're in it. I do feel like I'm gonna die though. Yeah, I kind of like it. Feels like I'm floating. Also, feels like I'm gonna die. the magazines for kids who are 17, but I don't know what to do. Staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Okay, in the mall, I'm gonna go buy some little things from one of my favorite shops, which I think I've shown you before. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go check out the art supply stuff there. I really like that. Also, trying really hard not to get anyone's faces in this because otherwise I have to like blur their faces out and it's really annoying to have to do that. Well, I don't know, I don't know, how could I know what lies ahead of me? Am I part of a grander master plan? Will I be washed away like lights in the sand? the faith into someone who's after age reading from a torn out page from a book filled with lies but i don't know what to do i'm staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign well now i'm outside because i have a headache i attribute it to being around lots of people and being inside uh wow it's really bright outside oh hello friend it's actually a really nice day today so just Gonna sit here, wait for my partner to come back, and uh, yeah, enjoy the nice weather outside. Also, vlogging in public is kind of weird. I talked about how awkward it is to vlog, and I think vlogging outside is even weirder because there's like other people around, and people like to like look at what you're doing. I'm not really bothered by it anymore though, because I'm probably not going to see these people again. And what's it to them anyway? So as long as I don't film their faces, it's all good. I guess I can show you this really pretty church behind me. One of the benefits of living in Europe is having really beautiful architecture everywhere. Now that the weather is better, I really want to do like a city tour, like kind of like show you areas of the city. Cause I think that like, you know, living in another city in another country is really, really like special. Not everyone gets a chance and I really want to show you the city that I live in because I really, really love living in Malmo. One of the first places I felt at home since growing up in my hometown and that was like, oh my god, it's old now, like 20 years ago, right? But I'm really happy here and as I mentioned, yeah, I think it'd be cool to like show you some of my favorite spots and just like some of the really pretty areas and stuff like that. I don't really know if that's interesting to you guys though. It has nothing to do with like art and business but it is a city where I get inspired to, you know, draw and do things and yeah. I've got to pack orders today. I'm actually really tired. <laughs> Yesterday after we kind of finished all of our errands and stuff like that, I ended up getting like a really big headache and was really, really like fatigued. Gonna try to take it easy today because I still have a bit of a headache. Gonna have a chill time, pack some orders, and maybe doodle a little bit. I, um, <laughs> I didn't film it, but I did go back to the art store and I bought more colored pencils because I have a problem and I have really poor self-control 
and everything was 70% off. I bought more colored pencils. <laughs> right after I said I wasn't gonna buy any more art supplies. Yeah, but I just wanna draw things. The problem is I wanna draw things, but I don't know what to draw, so yeah. If you have ideas of what you want me to draw for like a draw with me or something, let me know because always gunning for ideas. Okay, I have to stop procrastinating and actually pack the orders. That does remind me though that I'm pretty sure my printer jammed this morning. It made a horrible sound. So I think there's paper stuck in it. Oh, I see it. Oh no. I don't know if you can see that. That paper. Bad piece of paper. Hey, I don't even really use that printer that much anymore, but I still like using it for like my scrap things and stuff. Sorry, Shrimp is playing with her, you know, bell toy. She really likes like the really loud toys, and she really likes playing with them at like three in the morning. <laughs> so gross it's so humid and I'm a little bit sweaty I feel like I've been like a little bit sweaty all day Ugh. yeah so lots of packing so I'll have more packing to do but I'm gonna take a break right now and I need to edit a reel for Instagram so I'm trying to be better about you know actually making Instagram content again because I got kind of lazy but it's been kind of difficult because I what I used to do is I used to just like carve out a chunk of time on Sunday and then like schedule all of my content for the week so I wouldn't have to think about it. But I've been really bad about doing that recently. So what I've been doing instead is kind of editing a video right before I'm about to post it because I usually post it at like six in the evening, which is the ideal time for me to post. Editing it right before I post it. Um, and now it's like four o'clock-ish. Still need to drop off some mail at the post. Yeah, a lot to do. Also, my hair feels so gross. You know like when it's like just humid and you just like, it just, everything just feels like a little bit damp. Yeah, it's as gross as it sounds. <laughs>
finished painting this baby. It was for a Draw This In Your Style by Violet. And she doesn't know I'm making this, but I made this for you. <laughs> it actually turned out really, really cute. I really wanted to try like a new color palette. And also I bought these watercolor pencils, which I didn't know there were watercolor pencils when I bought them. I thought they were just regular colored pencils. So that was a nice surprise. As you can see, it is a new day. I have changed my shirt, so I'm not just wearing you know, my, my usual white t-shirt. Uh, my sister got me this. <laughs> um, I really wanna paint some more and draw some more today, but I've been having a lot of problems with my carpal tunnel recently. Um, so I do have carpal tunnel. It is unfortunately chronic. I have had it for more than 10 years. So yeah, I'm old. Um, but it is something that I have to deal with. So it gets really hard when I have to work on the computer all day. And then I want to draw stuff because all like small micro movements and stuff like that really, really hurt my wrists. And I've been really, really bad and not exercising or doing my stretches and stuff. So I've been particularly bad in the past two weeks. I had to take a sick day, actually. I can't really do anything. I want to plan new content. I want to make new stuff. I want to do things, but my wrists, my wrists hurt real bad. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this turned out though, so. It is now the end of the workday, which means the start of my other workday. <laughs> so right now we're actually gonna go to the paint shop because in our new apartment, I'm gonna be converting one of the rooms into a studio, but the studio is blue, like all the walls are blue and I want to paint all the walls white so that there's like more bounce light and the room feels brighter. So that is the goal today. We will go to the paint shop, pick out some paint and yeah, to go home and then paint on the weekend. <laughs> Um, I know white's not very like exciting or anything, but I want the room to look really bright and because I do so much filming, I want that bounce light on like everything. So that's why it's gonna be white. Places like this give me choice paralysis. It's like so many options of white and other things. Look! Got paint! <laughs> it's so heavy! Yeah. Oh my god, this is 
别说什么。